Hey guys, it's Young Man DHS here. Today we're going to be talking about how to get the maximum amount of FPS on Payday 2. So the reason I'm making this video is because one of the subscribers actually asked if I could cover this just because he was having some troubles with it. I've also seen on uh, a lot of online forums that uh, a lot of people are struggling with this game so I thought I'd just make this guide to help you out. Now, if it does help you out, a like would be very appreciated. And if you're new, I make a lot of FPS based guides and other tutorials, so if you're into that kind of thing, definitely think about dropping a subscribe. So, the first thing you want to do is go down into the description and download my uh, Payday 2 FPS pack. Basically, this will come as a zip file, all you need to do is unzip it and you'll get this folder. If you don't know how to do that, you'll need uh, 7zip. Basically, just double click it hit extract and the location you want to extract it. Alternatively, you can just right click, go to 7-zip and click extract here. So once you do that, you will get this pack. You want to double click it and you'll see all these files. First, you want to go to configs and open up the config text file. Then what you want to do is go to run and type percent app data percent hit OK. Then you might have to go to view and tick this, uh, or untick it rather, so you can see all the items here. Then you have to go to app data, local, payday2, and you'll set, find renderer settings. Then you want to go ahead and edit that, and then you will see renderer settings here. What you want to do is go to render settings, copy this in and then where you see render settings in the text file you just want to copy all that and then paste in this one then you want to save that and close it all down then the next things you're going to want to do is go to mods then you want to go to steam library Right click on Payday 2, hit Properties, make sure both of these are unticked, go to Local Files, Browse Local Files, then you want to go back to the Mods folder, go into the BLT tool and drag these in. Then that will take a couple of seconds just while it copies it, and then if this comes up just hit Replace Files. If it doesn't, don't worry, it uh, changes for different people, I'm not quite sure why. Then you want to go to Assets, Get, Go Back, and drag in the Mod Overrides file. Again, same as before, if it comes up with release, Replace Files, just press it, nothing bad is going to happen. So, then after that, what you want to do is go back to Browse Local Files, and you want to right click on both of these, hit Property, Compatibility, Override high DPI scaling behavior, apply, and then do the same for this one. So, the next few tips are just going to be general Windows optimizations. They're not directly linked to the game, but definitely stick around as they will help as well quite a lot. So, then you want to go to the Unpark CPU app and you want to run it. Then you want to hit check status, and this will basically check if your CPUs are parked or unparked. Basically what a parked CPU means um, is the way it comes stock, so when you buy it it will be parked, and it basically means it's limited um, in its power it can output. So basically unparking these means that you'll get much much more performance and it's not dangerous at all. So as you can see both mine are parked. I'm not going to unpark mine just because it takes a little time and I don't want to have to make you guys sit through that. But all you have to do is hit unpark and then it will just go through the process. Then what you want to do is install CC Setup by clicking on it, clicking yes and going through the installation process. Then you will get this app called CC Cleaner. You want to run that. 
it'll take a couple seconds and basically what this will do is find all the junk in your PC that you don't need including temporary files and just useless files in general and it'll basically clean them up as you can see it has deleted 1.7 uh, gigs roughly um, so again that's a lot of junk files and it's just getting rid of them then you want to go to Malwarebytes free installation go through the average installation process and then you will get something that looks like this then you want to go to scan start scan and basically what this will do is it will rummage through your computer looking for some malware basically what malware is is it's just bad files that just clog up your computer and just really slow it down you can get such things as uh, bitcoin miners which can really really take a hit on your gaming performance so while that's running we're able to do a few other steps so what you want to do is go down here go to control panel type in the top power power options go to high performance go to change plan settings turn off display and put the computer to sleep for personal preference these won't affect gaming at all turn off display basically means how long do you have to not touch your computer before the monitor goes uh, goes off and put computer to sleep is basically how long do you have to be like active uh, inactive from your computer before it will just like go into sleep mode so then go to change advanced power settings turn off hard drive setting zero minutes and then process of power management minimum and maximum should be set to 100 if they're not just click on it and type in 100 here so I'm going to cancel out that because I already uh, you know have that but if you didn't you would just hit OK so then the next thing you want to do is go to advanced view advanced system settings settings and you just want to go ahead and untick all of these basically what these are are unneeded niceties basically in windows so they make your windows look a bit nice but honestly they don't actually add any functionality so as this messes up my recording for some reason when I uh, apply it I'm not going to be applying it but also in advanced you want to go to programs and you want to go to processor scheduling and set it to programs then you would just hit apply uh, your computer will just freeze for three seconds and then it will apply those changes so and you want to exit out of that and go back here as you see the scan was successful and no threats were detected then you want to go to run go percent temp data percent uh, sorry percent temp percent then you want to hit control and a and then the delete key now if you can't get any of these just go skip and that will basically delete a bunch of junk content that you don't need then the next thing you want to do is go back here and type in task manager then what you want to do is go to more details go to startup and then if you see anything here that you don't use on startup for example I don't use Spotify on startup and I don't use CC cleaner on startup so if you see anything like that you would just right click and then it will say disable here so you just hit disable and then that will stop it loading on startup then you also want to go to processes and you will hit more details and then if you see anything down here that you don't actually use just any suspicious background programs just click on it and click end task because you don't need it then what you want to do is look in the description and I'll have two links for drivers one for Nvidia and one for AMD so basically what these are are drivers for your graphics card so if you have um, a GeForce Nvidia card or just any Nvidia card you would go here so say you have a 1060 you go to 10 series and you would select 1060 Windows 64 bit considering that's what you have you just select your operating system and go to search then all you would do is hit download and this will give you the latest drivers for your card then 
if you go to the AMD one, if you have an AMD card, so if you wanted uh, Radeon, you go to Professional Graphics, uh, whatever Radeon you had, and then you would just select the options and display results. Then this would give you a list of drivers and you would just install them. So the next stages are in game, so I'm just going to show you that over there. Okay. So then when you're in game, what you want to do is come to options and then you should see mods and BLT mods. What you want to do is go to mod options and set it to your language. And then with mods here, don't worry when you see red, that's just because um, some of the mods in the packs conflict. But it won't cause any crashes or you know bugs or anything like that, don't worry. Also, these mods are completely verified and you will not get a ban or anything like that for them because all they are is just reskins, they're not actually interacting with the game. Then with uh, BLT mods, those are the, the main mods that we dragged in and like shader mods and stuff like that. So these are all the mods you should be seeing here if you don't see any of them. Just try uh, dragging the mod folder in again as sometimes it can just bug out. Then what you want to do is go to video, set your resolution to 800 by 600, press OK, then you want to uh, turn on full screen, turn off uh, subtitling, uh, you can turn on or off hit confirm indicator, you get like one or two extra FPS if you turn it off, so it just depends on how you are, then turn effect quality to zero, and then go back, and then basically you're ready to play. So let's go into game and see what we're like after these optimizations. So as you can see we're getting from 170 to about 300 FPS which is really really strong considering before we were getting about 80 to 150 at a push. So this is a huge huge increase and um, yeah it may look a bit bad but if you have a low end PC or you just want the maximum amount of FPS that's just what you have to do. Anyway guys, if this video helped you out, please leave a like, and if you're new, we do a lot of FPS guides, so consider subscribing. Oh.